Hello guys, and it's me, Giselle, back here again. I just finished like a motivational exam tips, studying tips, and I just can't wait to jump into another video because I am excited. Yeah. So today we're doing a story time video and it's talking about growing up. My growing up wasn't that great. Like, at first it was pretty fun. I don't have any memories of my childhood when I was like really, really small. But I do have photos to check on, and I feel like those are the best time in my child, best times in my childhood. Though you can say my childhood isn't over, but I feel like I'm getting into that teenager age that it's just different. Like you're not that innocent anymore. You're not that childish anymore. You've just seen a lot more. You've known a lot more about people and things around you, and really changes you so today i'm going to tell you guys a little bit about my growing up so yeah it's mainly talking about me from a bad girl to a good girl so a few years back those are like my naughtiest times and when i was a little bit even smaller i actually wanted to download these apps games on my phone phone and that was like ages ago but I was using an an iPhone 3 yeah so you can tell how long ago it was and um I was pretty satisfied with my phone at that time because that was like ages ago and iPhone 3 is like the trending thing at that time okay so my father wouldn't buy these apps for me because they cost a lot at that time for me because I was a kid and I don't have my like I don't have any money I have some that I save up but I won't use them and I can't because you're supposed to pay through your like iTunes um, store app store iTunes account you need one of those to buy those apps and I don't have one and I don't have a credit card so I don't exactly know how to open it up at that time but I kind of like tried my best to figure out my dad's password and at the end i got it and i bought some apps on my game i downloaded some purchasable apps no some some apps that you have to pay for from the app store into my phone and i was so proud of myself of finding out my dad's password i am really good at it still right now i know all his accounts password but i no longer use them trust me i don't and i was so silly that i thought i could get away with it no one will ever notice he won't check my phone so nothing will happen but of course i don't know about the email system whenever you purchase something download something i think download no but if you purchase something from the app store and you get an email sent to your itunes account and i was Silly, really silly and my dad of course got the notification and he went screaming at me yelling at me scolding me because I was wrong and all that but I I was just the bad kid at that time I mean I wasn't that extreme but I'm still really guilty for what I've done and I will never do it again if I go back at this time and i'm really 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 sad about it now that i think about it <laughs> anyways that's a lot about it anyways um i also lie a lot to my parents and at the time but i didn't find it a problem at that time i what have i done i lied a lot i just remember that and i'm really lazy I'm still very quite lazy now, but a lot better, I have to say, compared. And I lied about like going to some extracurricular activities. Instead, I went to hang out with my friends, we go shopping, and I'm kind of a shopaholic. Yeah, I get crazy with the stuff I want, I literally will buy them whenever I want them like if I want it I will just spend the money I don't care that much about money and yeah but nowadays not that much I guess I guess with but I'm still crazy with books and fashion but I don't go all 
out with my money now but um yeah so i even have to borrow borrow my dad's money i actually took some from his purse and from his wallet and of course he did find out in the end but i did say sorry and i promised that i'll never do it again and i never did yeah and um yeah i was just pretty badass and i was lazy as i said i actually when i was in primary school i am so lazy that there's this page in our handbook student handbook and it's supposed to mark down all your records of not submitting your homework on time and i like there's like 30 uh uh 30 30 lines for you to fill in whenever you fail to submit one you need to fill in one line and there you need a parent's signature and i forged my parents signature because i have like almost 30 every time and you're not allowed to go over 30 each semester but i think i almost did i always nearly go past that limit and yeah the only subject that i'm really proud of is english of course and yeah so now that i've grown up i've actually learned a lot this year last year i wasn't paying attention to maths i wasn't listening to any any of the maths lesson because i hate math i'm so bad at math i used to be so bad at math and the only time i got like a b was like in primary school and at the end of like my primary school years i actually got like d and d e, but i never actually got an f but when i got into secondary school i still get like d e's f no no f's ever but d and e's and i really feel bad about that but i just wasn't in the mood of spending more time on it and studying it i just gave it up on it but this year However, I got a really good maths teacher and I'm really inspired and sometimes I I admire her. She is so good at teaching and all that. I just found like my way for studying. I am way more motivated. I even go online and find like principles for me myself for studying just to keep me going. And I don't know if it's me growing up or seeing my friends around me working so hard or is it like this year is so important to me that i've worked very hard for it and i just realized i can't do what i did in the past and i have to focus on the weak subjects as well so i worked very hard i even brought my cam and my chinese history books just for tonight they're super heavy but i brought them back home just for studying for like an hour or two or three hours or something after dinner later on and yeah I normally I would never do this if I'm from last year I'm the Giselle from last year I would never done that uh yeah so I really find myself changing a lot and I've seen a lot more about like friends and crushes this year as well so that's it from me for today i have a lot to tell you guys but i think that's it for today's studio hope you guys enjoyed this little story time and everything i will do more if you guys want me to so tell me if you really want to see more and i'll see you guys tomorrow or later bye